Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality back with Minecraft. Um, did a bunch of stuff off camera and now we're sort of at a position where we have lots to do and not really enough time to do it. So we'll try and tackle sort of objectives or tasks or projects um, sort of an episode at a time uh, based on, you know, however much time we are given to sort of make it without making the episode just big and uh, unwieldy. Uh, but first, uh, as uh, we wrapped up the last episode, we got our one diamond. Um, I did go back down into the mine shaft and was going through it pretty thoroughly. So we might actually have some stuff to sort of do stuff with. Um, but before I open the chest and show all of you guys, um, we'll take it to on location with our special reporter. Um, he'll sort of explain what's going on, so take it away, me. Thanks. This is Shin Virtuality, reporting down in the deep, deep caves that we had explored uh, not too long ago. Um, yeah, I've found some interesting things, so figured I'd uh, turn on the recording button and take a look. Uh, it's over there where we got our one and only diamond. Uh, very expensive cave system down here, um, but we have some lapis. Uh, also plenty of redstone and a couple of emeralds found down here. Uh, I think I see more emeralds. Yes, we do, so we might as well grab that now. Um, but that's not why I wanted to get you guys all here today. Uh, so let's on, head on back. Because I believe we are about to get more diamond. Oh. And another spider. But uh, you know what? Come down and get me or don't. I don't care. Oh, you are going to come down. So you can go away. Uh, lots of lava in here too, so got to be careful. Uh, but we got some more lapis. Let's grab it. And then I was just coming through here. We got a big of uh, pool system, but off in the distance. Yep. Looks like we're about to get more diamonds, so let's get that under wraps, shall we? Since this is on lava, I just want to make sure. Oh, can't mine that yet. Can't mine the obsidian, but let's just see if we can't uh, mine around this. Alright, definitely more than the one, so feeling a little bit better about this. Got it just in time. There, another diamond, and, and we're underwater. Let's get not underwater. have another five to add to our one diamond. So, looking like we might be actually able to do stuff in the next episode. Uh, we'll send it back to Shin Virtuality in the studio. Take it away. Thanks, Shin Virtuality. We're back. All right, let's, uh, let's open her up and see what we got here. 
Yeah, we actually got 11 diamonds now. Uh, we actually found another um, thread or strain or, or vein of, of diamonds uh, while we were sort of doing another little bit of mine shaft. So uh, we got plenty uh, and we are going to start the episode off by using them. So let's get that underway. So uh, we'll start with five. What we want to do, oh yeah, move my uh, crafting table so we got uh, another box here, just mainly with food stuff. It's gonna, it's gonna become uh, uh, food central here in a moment with that uh, farm going. But we have our, um, our thing in the ground. Uh, first two things we need to consider: uh, diamond pickaxe, because it's the only way we're able to get obsidian. So let's do that. Uh, and then while we have two in our inventory, we are going to finish them off with a diamond sword. Uh, we won't do much with the diamond sword quite yet. Uh, in fact, where am I going to put it in that chest when we have our spot to put it right here? So I'll keep that safe there. Um, but we will take the diamond pickaxe because the next thing we'll need is some obsidian since it's uh, just before <laughs> hit the recording button a baby zombie was trying to come up and get me uh, didn't turn out too well for him um, but no well, uh, now that it's the day let's go and get some obsidian because we will need it for the next part of our project uh, and we'll go into our initial cave system uh, I know we sort of um, poured some water over some lava and made some obsidian there and hopefully it'll be easy to get at. If not, what we can do, and I'll get it ready now, is get a bucket of water ready. Okay, so here we go. We got some water here, but let's go in a little bit more. Um, maybe we should uh, get that last block underway. In fact, let's just pour the water out. If we have a constant water source, then if there's lava underneath this obsidian, then at least the water will sort of turn it before anything we mined gets down there. So we'll start off. Uh, so once you pour water over still lava, it will create an obsidian block. And they take quite a moment to dig out. There you go. So, does it look like there's anything underneath the obsidian? But you never can tell. So we'll take our water back for now. Just because it'll make things easier not having to... Uh, whoops. There we go. Uh, it will make things easier not to... Uh, uh, have to fight with the water to uh, to get what we want here. So um, we'll do a little bit of a time lapse just because it takes way long to sort of mine this out. As you can see. But we do want to grab ourselves about, I don't know, 20 blocks of it. So we'll be back once that's done. back near our house and I'm going to get rid of this creeper before he blows up. Um, <laughs> while I was working off camera I had a number of them sort of sneak up behind me and cause havoc so 
Um, not really liking creepers nowadays. Uh, also, I had an Enderman drop by, so that's why you have the odd block here. Let's just get rid of it. Um, but we got ourselves some obsidian. Oh, you may have noticed, uh, oh, you may have noticed that I have a spider crying to come at me. Ow. Um, <laughs> apart from the spider, I have some webs. Uh, so still sort of making the uh, Halloween preparations. I also have another couple, one or two jack-o'-lanterns uh, spread out, like one right here. Um, okay, <laughs> not like in the night, so let's get rid of it. We don't really need to because our next step will be sort of in the house where we're supposedly safe. Um, but we got ourselves a fair amount of obsidian. I'm going to take... I didn't want to take six pieces. Let's take three. Um, I think we need two diamonds for the recipe. Uh, and I believe we need a book. So you see we got our 15 bookshelves. I did that off camera as well. I uh, need more sugar cane before I can make paper. Okay. Because um, I don't think I can make it without the book. Maybe it will. So there's the recipe for our jukebox. We only need one diamond for that. Which we'll do in a second. But we need... Yeah, we need... Oh, one more obsidian and a book. Okay, so... It's not that, not that bad. We can just there four obsidian, a couple of diamonds, and let's just see if we can get one sugar cane because if we can, then we can make our book. And we'll let the spider be. We're on a mission here, folks. We don't need to be playing with spiders today. There we go. All right, because we already have some sugar cane in our chest. We only need one to make the paper. Hello, Enderman. You know the fine folks haven't really seen you in the daylight, carrying blocks, being a nuisance. Come back here. I. Hey. Oh, now he's angry. Ooh, you wanna get it? You wanna. Come on, come at me, bro. That's right. Uh. Dispatching Endermen will become a little bit more important as we reach sort of the end of the game. Uh, but he did not have a pearl for me. He just had this grass block, which he stole from somewhere. Uh, for now, and it's a good thing that uh, got him when we did because we were getting pretty hungry there. All right. Well, at least that will sort of get our hearts back up. Uh, but like I said, let's... Get that and the leather because we need to make. We need to start crafting stuff. Uh, first off, paper. And then with the paper and the leather, we're gonna make a book. And then with the book and the obsidian and two diamonds, we get an enchantment table. And because we still have one diamond in our inventory, and I said I wanted it, we're gonna make a jukebox. Alright. Now, uh, uh, let me uh, clear out my inventory for our next step and then I'll be right back. Alright, here's the part where we start digging down. And we'll do a little bit more of a time lapse just so that uh, we're not boring you with uh, just the construction of the room here. But uh, we are going to go down one more further than we would have otherwise, just because I'm going to put a roof on this. A little bit of a different roof. I didn't want the, um, uh, the stone bricks. There's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, um, <laughs> let me get this sort of underway and we'll be back.
those of you who are unfamiliar with enchanting, it is a major part of um, getting yourself um, good gear, uh, ultimately much, much better. So we're going to start with the enchanting table and I'll sort of go this through this step by step. Um, we got our 5x5 five five room layout like we usually do. It doesn't have to be a room 5x5, five five, but that's just sort of what I go for. So let's stick the enchanting table down in the middle. Ooh, ah, and it is one of the coolest blocks that you'll ever see with the floating magical book in the center. So if we touch it, uh, let's just say we want to enchant this iron sword. So we'll put in there and then you also need some material and that material is always going to be lapis. So let's do that. Now you have three options on the right hand side here. Your first level enchantment which is sharpness one. Okay, enchantment. Uh, so the green number on the left-hand side is basically how much EXP levels you need in order to enchant the sword. And the number two on the right-hand side is the level of enchantment. So it's only a level two enchantment, not to confuse with the level set you're burning. Uh, so if we take a look at the second one, again, sharpness two or sharpness one. So <laughs> why would I get it here? Well, it also has the dot, dot, dot question mark. So you could get more enchantments as well. So this enchantment will cost you two EXP levels and it's considered a level five enchantment. And then down here, unbreaking one. It makes it a little bit more durable. You're spending three of your enchantment levels for a level six enchantment. So that's sort of the fundamentals on it. But books or bookshelves makes your enchanting table stronger. So if you place um, bookshelves on the sort of boundary, so we'll put one right here. It needs to be a block away. Um, and we'll just wait for it. You get like little magical runes going from the bookshelf to your enchanting table. So now if we hit this again, we'll put the sword up, we'll put that up. Uh, still sort of the same thing. Uh, so that's sort of a bummer. Let's uh, take this off and put on a pickaxe. Same thing, level two, level five, level six, uh, and with the same stuff, unfortunately. So, but you can spend up to 15 bookshelves leveling or getting your enchantment table stronger. So we'll put one on the other side here and we'll see if it makes any difference. Yeah, get a little bit of a difference now. So you see you got a level three for your first level enchantment. That's a level three enchantment level seven and a level nine, Bane of Anthropods. Bane of Anthropods, the magical or the enchanted book that we got last episode, just means that your swords or weapons are stronger against spider-like creatures. Um, not really worth it, in my opinion. So, uh, let's back out of that. Now that we have 15 bookshelves, uh, and we'll put some up here, also put a fire pit down. I wanted to sort of see if we can make this a little bit more interesting. Uh, but we're gonna... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not sure about the corners, but for now we'll just sort of leave them be. I'd rather have it uh, sort of in the middle here. So now if we hit the enchanting table, up our sword. So you get a level three enchantment, a level seven enchantment, and a level 12. And the level 12 is still Bane of Anthropods. Well, <laughs> what can you do? All right, so we have six more bookshelves to sort of put around. Uh, so let me just see what kind of design I'll have going here. Um, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll probably fill out the empty spaces with just some wood things just to make it a little bit more sort of mystical and whatnot. So 
Uh, oh no! Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm sure it was bound to happen at some point. We can't um, undo any blocks because it'll break the bookshelf. I'll just have to create another one. Uh, but for now, you know what? Whatever. We'll just have to deal with it. So, now that we have all our bookshelves down, what I wanted to do was actually enchant our bow and start using it because it will become a little bit more important to sort of have ranged weaponry in the game. So let's see what this will do. Uh, because if we can get a level 30 enchantment on our bow, they usually turn out pretty, pretty good. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Urgh. Power two. Well, just for the sake. So, at the bottom you see I'm at level 32. Uh, a fully uh, powered up enchantment table will take uh, enchantments up to level 30. So, uh, let's go with the power two and hope that stuff comes onto the bow as well. And no, it's just power two. Well, live and learn, right? Not much you can do about it, unfortunately. So let's, I thought I got the chests. Did I not? No, I did not. I'll fix that afterwards. Um, but yeah, I'll continue to do um, cow stuff in order to uh, get this uh, looking a little bit. But just to give you an example, if I am to break this, uh, all I get are some books back. Oh, three books. Oh, well, I guess I can make myself a bookshelf and place it where I want it to place it to begin with. So I guess that's not too, too bad. Uh, so let's do that and then let's just fix that going down there. Um, I will fill up the room with more bookshelves because there is... Come on. Down. Um, like I said, once you get with the level 30 enchantments, um, stuff gets pretty powerful pretty quick. Uh, the only sort of thing about it is that you need to sort of keep your levels up in order to do so. So as you see, now I'm level 29. That's because I burned three levels doing that enchantment for the bow, which, eh, you know what? There's worse enchantments to get, I guess. So, um, okay, yeah, and I filled out the, the bleh, uh, armory a little bit. Um, I moved the crafting table. We're actually going to put an anvil there once we get one made, which will come soon enough. Keep our iron sword. We're going to not use our diamond sword yet until we get some decent enchantments going and I can be assured that uh, something powerful will be on it soon enough. Um, but we'll take one of our horses. Uh, again, haven't really come across anything I want to name these guys yet. But you know, it could be old uh, Fred and Bernie, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy, Optimus Prime and Megatron. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's take... Uh, our recent horse department, and we're going the opposite way than uh, what we've usually been doing towards the desert. Because, uh, as I was sort of gathering the horses a couple episodes ago, uh, it did seem like, and I did verify, that we did have a village sort of close by. So let's investigate it, see if we got any villagers. We have a thriving community. Hello? Anybody home? Well, if nobody's home, then let's see if there's anything that we can get. The 
bit of a marketplace here, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can see. Hello, villagers. Anyone home? It's me, the hero. Ah, chest. Let's see what we got. Potatoes and books and bread. Uh, I'll take the bread. Don't really need the potatoes, so we'll leave you with some. Oh, you know what? I forgot my raw fish. Villages, and villages are a good source of kitty cats, and I did want to tame a couple if we're able to find it. Okay, we got a cauldron here, so... Do we have any villagers? Some jobs. Here, yeah, we'll take... Uh, <laughs> You can take your leather pants and stuff as well. Huh. And okay, well, we'll just keep investigating. More horses around. Some pits into some water. Sometimes you gotta sort of be careful when wandering around villages. They tend to... Uh, Put them up in, uh, well, they tend to spawn in various locations, usually when there's big cracks in the earth. So uh, you don't want to be wandering over the edge of something that's going to cause you grief later on. Uh, a cow over here. They did develop a path that goes into the forest. Not for any particular reason. up here stuck on the tree foliage all right well whatever don't tell me we have another deserted village without the cobwebs oh there's someone okay hello sir so we got a farmer here he wants carrots, so if I grow a bunch of carrots and bring it to him, he'll give me an emerald for each 22. Uh, or I can find the, uh, or I can use the emeralds that I just stole from the village and get more bread. Uh, you know what? We're good. Thank you. Uh, I'm hoping that there's more villagers around here. It'd be nice to get uh, another emerald. Thank you. Uh, usually if a village is pretty thriving, oh, there we have a dog. So I sort of went, I didn't go over this in detail, but if you arm yourself with some bones and don't make the wolves angry, grr, grr, there, and now we have a new friend. Hello. So he'll follow us, he'll protect us, he'll he'll be our buddy. Uh, and hopefully I won't get him killed. Uh, I tend to take uh, tamed wolves into caves and other dangerous environments and they don't last too long. They're pretty good out uh, roaming the field. Hi there, fella. Um, defending you from zombies and creepers and whatnot. Uh, skeletons, they're pretty good at. Um, but not when they're in caves uh, without much room to roam and uh, defend. Um, this guy's got some beetroots, but you know what? He can he can have them. Uh, we're sort of going. We're growing our own, so we're good. Uh, a little bit of a drop there. Oh, sorry, doggy. Tell you what, let's go down. Are you okay? You can feed them meat, and they'll heal up. Uh, okay, well, that seems a little underwhelming. But they do have some sheepies. All right, well, yeah, I know, disappointed, eh? Let's go, let's go see if we can find our horse. Uh, they do have uh, 
Something that leads into a cave, but we're not going to explore it. We did enough caving in the last episode. Yes. Where'd our horse go? At some point, it would be nice to tether horses so they don't wander away, but we're not leaving without uh, without our horse. Where might you be, horse? Shouldn't be hard to spot. He's got big shiny armor on. Ah, there he is. <laughs> I'm back here. All right. You ready, puppy? Let's go to your new home. Well, that's a little bit of a disappointment of the village, and I didn't even see any cats there, so uh, we'll just uh, we'll have to come across some other villages. Um, there will be more. Um, there are plenty to go around. Um, but yeah. Eh. Not too, uh, not too pleased with what they had to offer. So let's head back. And there's our doggy. Hello, Mr. Doggy. See, our beetroots are doing well. A little bit more, and then they'll be, uh, they'll be good. Get our health up. Ah, there's zombies. We'll grab some EXP here. Since it's now important to keep the levels up so that uh, you can do enchantings and whatnot. Uh, and if I so happen to die, uh, all my levels are going to go away. So now it becomes a, a little bit of a, you know, do I want to risk getting into battle and uh, taking out monsters? Or do I want to uh, avoid battle and keep my levels and do that various stuff? <laughs> Don't have to... Like I said, we'll eventually get these uh, these guys armored up. Uh, but eventually, I'm, I'm thinking um, I want to create a tunnel system that will head over to that mine shaft. Um, there were a couple of mon monster spawners in it. Um, fairly good ones, too. There was one zombie spawner and uh, at least four, if not more, uh, cave spider spawners. Um, so we can turn at least the zombie one into an XP farm. Um, I've been sort of playing around with that a couple times. Uh, but I'm wondering about making some doors here and just sort of going deeper and then making sort of a ca uh, cave uh, minecart uh, type system to, uh, to, you know, just sort of link uh, the uh, important stuff, stuff around here because uh, yeah, <laughs> things are looking interesting. Uh, and also, um, the reason we got so much obsidian, uh, we now have everything we need in order to venture off into the nether, so we'll probably do that in the next episode. But for now, I think we're going to wrap it up. Uh, make this a little bit of a... Not a short one, but at least not as long as the last one. So uh, we'll get into some more Minecraft mischief in the next episode. But until then, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll see you guys in the next one.